Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the title of my paper, which you will have uh, in due course, is Searching for Evidence in the Digital Age. Um, but what I first propose to do is to take a trip back to the 1760s, which is perhaps appropriate in, in this venue. On the 11th of November, 1762, Mr. Entick sued Carrington for trespass in what became a landmark case in the delineation of the scope of executive power, a case that gave uh, rise to the Fourth Amendment to the US Constitution, for example. Uh, the first in a series of cases I'm going to uh, tell you about is a case called Quirk. Um, Bernard will talk to you about it in a lot more detail, but this was a very high profile case um, which was reported widely and described as the Moonlight case. The ODCE, who, as I said, didn't have any access to any of this material, argued that, well, obviously with any claim of privilege, those people who are asserting privilege bear the burden of proving that the privilege exists and said that in relation to, in fact, all of the documents over which uh, a privilege was asserted, there was simply inadequate evidence uh, and um, the High Court agreed ultimately and declined to hold that any privilege existed at all in any of them. The ODC successfully argued that for the vast majority of the documents, the High Court was justified to decline to look at them at all. And this, perhaps combined with a better designed statutory framework, has the capacity to make these very important investigations possible and manageable in the future. Thanks very much. <laughs>